Doom in the Dark is the worst game ever. Brought to you by Unreal Engine. And whatever the fuck that is. And Great Britain. This game makes Anthem look like a freaking masterpiece. Although the hub world is pretty much just as silent. Oh dear god, this game is a live service! Help me, secretary lady! I need to get out of here! So Doom in the Dark is an indie FPS that takes the live service model from such games as Destiny, Anthem, The Division, some other bullshit. And they tried to make their own game that entices players to log in every day so they can get different rewards. But like so many other live services in the past, the developer of Doom in the Dark failed to realize one fatal flaw with this type of service. No matter how greedy and stupid you are, you still need to make a game that's entertaining to play! And goddamn, Doom in the Dark is testing my patience. Do you want to see the first enemy encounter in this game? Here you go! They're astronaut zombies with Parkinson's! How is that intimidating? A, they've got a helmet so they can't bite you. Their fingers and nails and stuff are in a suit so they can't scratch you. And it's like they're learning how to dance by doing Michael Jackson's Thriller while having a brain aneurysm. Yo, and are you seeing this muzzle flash? I like to be able to see when I'm shooting things in games. That's kind of helpful. This game is so bad it's making my voice crack. And it takes a billion bullets to kill one damn enemy. Well, with this gun it does, and then when you get a different gun, you can just one-shot these guys like it's nothing. It's like the opposite of what happened to Anthem now that I think about it. Wow, it's kind of weird that I can keep comparing this game to Anthem. It's almost like they're both not quality products. So what do you do in Doom in the Dark? Basically, you walk around in some corridors, you get attacked by some enemies sometimes, usually there's none, but then a bunch of them run out at you from nowhere. You shoot them, they have this terrible jibbing effect that goes absolutely everywhere, and in some cases slows down your entire computer. And then you're running around to find keys and crates that you can buy weapons from. There's no mini-map that I'm aware of, so you just kind of wander around the corridors trying to remember where you are, but the game is called Doom in the Dark, and it's freaking dark! So getting lost is pretty much part of the experience. I said part of the experience, not part of a good experience. It's like when you go to the dentist and they tell you you have to get a tooth pulled out, so they start doing it, and you realize it still really hurts because they didn't apply any freezing to your mouth. And then some water Water starts dripping on you and you realize you're in a back alleyway and not a dentist office at all. Damn it, Gary, bring back my teeth! Let's take a look at the store page then. That's gonna be oodles of fun. About this game. 2025, between the powers began the race for space exploration. A large number of rockets were sent into space to build several large space stations. The main goal was to study asteroid micro or microorganisms. A frozen organism was found on one of those asteroids, which seemed harmless for a time. After some time, he began to evolve and he needed a carrier. A man came to this role is not bad. 90% of the stations were infected with an unknown virus. The evolution process started in a short time there was little left of people. You take on the role of propagandist Nicholas, who is the commander of the special forces unit in the unit Alpha. God save you. God save me indeed. Features, more than five music tracks, good graphics, that's subjective. Special effects, that, that's good I guess. Puzzles, I haven't seen any of those yet. Bosses, also haven't seen any of them. The atmosphere of horror. Again, subjective. Can you look at the planets close? I don't know, can I? More than 10 types of weapons. The system of buying weapons for accumulated points. That, that is a thing in the game. Yes, it is. A chiv key. A chiv key? A chiv key. Sure. What? I'm just gonna go out on a limb and assume they mean achievements. Effect of time dilation. Sure. Dynamism! Hold on, I'm just gonna take some more of my medication. No, that's not enough. 
an unusual mix of horror action and puzzles and much more like dynamism. So in case you couldn't tell, this game is complete trash. Everything from the lack of a mini-map or a regular map to the shrapnel jibbing that happens and the way enemies become part octopus when they die. It's just not a game that was ready for a public release. And I feel like anyone with an IQ over 40 would most likely realize that. Evidently not this guy though, who apparently liked it? Like, that's cool, you do you, ma'am, but holy damn, I couldn't limbo under your standards. So apparently I own another game by this developer too? Their name is Indie Games Studio, by the way. Huh, creative. But I've got no memory of getting this game at all, so let's also find out what Sunny Smiles is. No. No. Bad developer. <laughs> I don't, I don't, why? Why is this a thing? Why would somebody make this? Someone spend time putting this together, even if they took most of the assets and the gameplay elements and everything from somebody else and downloaded it or bought it or whatever they did. They put this together. They were like, people are going to come back and play this day after day for weeks, months, probably years on end is what they thought in their brain. And they put this out into the world. I don't care how much it costs, how cheap it is, how expensive it is. It's not a very good game. And all I'm saying is maybe before you put this onto Steam, you look at it see that it sucks and then just try to make a better game or put it somewhere else or just you know be a reasonable human being where the crap are those pills at I'm just